What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday here. My third post, probably going to be my final post today. And I'm going to be doing this post on WBT, wait, White Bitcoin, and seeing what is going on in this market here. Could there be potential move here uh, for both the upside and downside? Going to be taking a look into some key price levels that this market does need to break in order to see either of those price targets on both the bullish side and the bearish side. Got to gotta take a look at both sides here. So I'm going to be diving into the charts for you guys, uh, giving you guys my personal opinion and sentiment on this market as well as the overall crypto markets. Um, so before we begin, let's... Um, I'm going to say that none of this is financial advice, right? Uh, I am not a financial advisor and I am not an elite trader of any sort, even though I am a profitable trader who's managed to keep most of my profits during the last bear market. But I am looking to crush it in the next bull cycle here. So if you guys feel the same way, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into the charts here. So we do have white bit token here, which is WBT. Currently, I am looking on the white, uh, the weekly time frame. So this seems to be a very new token here. Uh, since I am looking at the gate IO charts, inception was about October 2022 here, where we where the price action has gone a huge pump. Okay, from uh from about a dollar and twenty five to almost to about fourteen dollars and six and 60 cents here, okay? So very, very crazy pump here. And since then the price action has been crashing, but now it looks like it's kind of rebounded uh, since it hit a low of about $3. Uh, what, could be, what could the price action be doing right here? So on the weekly time frame, which could take some time to play out, uh, it looks like there is, there is a rising wedge pattern, right? Rising wedges are usually bearish okay and they usually break to the downside not absolutely there could be um there could be exceptions uh but they usually break to the downside let's get a measure move here uh out of this uh rising wedge pattern which would be basically the opening of the pattern just to illustrate better for you guys um i think the the bottom of the pattern. Let me see if I can rechart this. All right. So it's more of a, I mean, it's, it's a rising channel, right? I just want to get as detailed as possible here on the opening of the pattern. So it's more of a rising channel. And if the price action breaks down, I'm going to have to pick an example breakdown point so I can get a measured target, right? If it breaks down by next week's candle, right? Just for convenience, it does not necessarily have to break down by next week's candle. I'm just picking a random point uh, on this uh, bottom trend line in the future so I can get a measured target. And the measure target puts us at about $3.93. So, you know, in that area, right? Uh, it doesn't have to be an exact value, right? It's kind of in this area. And that kind of makes sense because, you know, um, as, we see, as we see here, there's quite a bit of consolidation in that area uh, from about $3.60 to about... Four dollars and fifteen cents. I'm just gonna say even for even sake. Um, so in this area, you guys can probably look at it on your own. Um, do your own uh due diligence on this chart, right? Uh, so that's what I'm seeing as a measured target. Um, out of this rising channel pattern, it usually breaks to the downside. Um. And the measure target is pretty in line with this uh, consolidation area, right? Um, so in that range there, 
right? I mean, the exact value here is going to is going to be about you know three dollars and ninety three dollars and ninety five cents range. Uh, but I think it you know goes in pretty. It kind of goes in line with this, right? Uh, so that's what I'm seeing as the downside targets. Um, and that's basically the next level of key support I'll be looking at, just because as you guys can see, there's quite a bit of consolidation there. You guys can refer back to uh as resistance and support, depending if you're above or below it, right? Um, of course, if the price action does uh go the other way and break out of this pattern, right? Um, then, you know, it does need to break this upper trend line here. I think this is a pretty uh, valid trend line. We have three touches um, on this weekly time frame, right? So uh, if the price action was to break out the other way, um, uh, you know, to the upside, then it does need to break, for example, uh, if it breaks by uh, this week less, or next week, uh, just to, so we can compare oranges to oranges, right? Uh, if, if it actually breaks out by next week, it does have to break at least six bucks for me to consider that this price action has broken out of this pattern, right? Um, that's what I'm seeing on this chart. Very simple chart because, you know, it's a pretty new coin. Uh, we don't have as many um, wicks and moving averages to look at. The price action is currently above the only um, moving average here for the weekly time frame that I use, which is the weekly 21 SMA. Uh, it's the blue line here currently at about $5.10 area. Okay. Uh, so that's support for the price action right now. Let's take a look into the three-day time frame. Uh, the price action on the three-day time frame is immediately below the 3-day 21 SMA, but it is above the 3-day 50 SMA, uh, which is the gray line uh, that, you know, that is within the pattern. So quite a bit of support between, um, you know, the price action now and the breakdown point. It is below um, the, the 50 and the 21 SMA on the daily moving average, but the daily 200 SMA is currently within this pattern, very close to the bottom trend line. So quite a bit of support between uh, the price action now and the breakdown point. Is there anything on the monthly that we can refer to? Not really. So um, that's really what I'm seeing so far uh, for this chart. Very simple chart here because we, don't, we just don't have as much data. Um, and... Let me give you guys my overall opinion on this market as well as the overall crypto markets. But if you guys have made it this far into this video and don't already have a Weeble account and want to get some free stocks, uh, use my referral link down below. Uh, do check it out. They are still giving away um, free stocks valued from three to $3,000. Depending on your luck, of course, terms and conditions do apply. Uh, when you open an account and deposit a hundred US dollars into your account, and I will also get a referral bonus if you guys sign up using my referral link down below, so that directly supports my channel. Um, so I enjoyed using Weibo as an exchange. I think they're great for beginners. Um, for both cryptos and US stocks. Um, but with any exchange, I would not put most or all my money on one particular exchange in case they do go down, uh, as we have seen with FTX, um, and others, uh, recently. I personally spread my money around several exchanges so I don't get wrecked if one goes down. So, uh, that's just what I'm doing. Um, let's get back into this video and, um, where was I? So I don't have any. WT, WBT, but I am, if there is a, I am going to open a position if uh, I see a good setup here, right? Um, so that's basically where I'm at with this coin. Um, I'm still shopping amongst other coins uh, in case a good setup comes up. Um, but my overall opinions on this market still very much depends on Bitcoin. And I've been talking about Bitcoin for, um, you know, 
forever. So do check out my earlier post today, but basically Bitcoin is in quite a bit of a uh, interesting scenario right now, right? It's got a double top on the weekly time frame. Uh, if it actually breaks down, uh, the measure target of the breakdown is huge to the downside. Um, there are some bullish scenarios for Bitcoin as well. And that looks like, um, you know, it's, you know, I'm, sh it's, I mean, it looks like it's staying away from that breakdown of that double top pattern, but, uh, for the time being, at least, right. Can't speak for, um, if, you know, even a day later in this crypto markets, but at least for the time being, it's, it's staying away from that breakdown. Um, if it actually comes back up to touch, well, if it actually reclaims, let's just say for the first step, if it actually reclaims 27.5 to 27.7, which is the daily 200 and the weekly 200 SMAs, um, then that's going to look better in the short term. And the next level up would be about 32K uh, to retest uh, the you know, the, the rising channel that I have charted out. Do check out my last video. I'm not going to get into it here. Just trying to keep it short. But all in all, it's going to depend a lot on Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has some very bearish scenarios uh, in store still. Um, so let's see if it can get through that. Now, this wraps it up for my post today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.